Well, horses have been associated with the royal family since the time of Alfred the Great, and for Her Majesty the Queen, they've been a passion since she was a young woman. Well, this summer, horses are also the stars of one of the big events being staged to celebrate Her Majesty's 60-year reign, the Diamond Jubilee Pageant. Here to tell us more about it, event producer Simon Brooks-Ward and trainer of the Queen's horses, Katie Jerram. Welcome. Thank you. Simon, it is an astonishing and promises to be an astonishing pageant. Tell us all about it. Well, we're bringing the world to Windsor, uh, effectively. We've got 800 horses from around the globe and uh, over 1,100 participants taking place, uh, uh, taking part in a 90-minute uh, show in the evening uh, over four nights in May, so we're hoping it's going to be a great, great event. We're talking music here, yeah. we're talking horses galloping in time, we're talking stars as well, aren't we? Yeah, it just it stars in terms of... On, uh, for the Queen, we've got uh, Susan Boyle singing and we've got narrators uh, such as Rolf Harris, and we're talking to others uh, such as Helen Mirren and all these people uh, to, to come along and celebrate the fact that the Queen has done a remarkable job uh, in the 60 years yeah. and particularly showing her passion for horses and also her connection with, with the world at large. Uh, yeah. you know, she's done over... 250 state visits in her 60 years, an incredible amount. And they're all coming back now and returning <laughs> the, the compliment, I think. <laughs> Katie, now, what's your role with the Queen's horses? Your official title is what? I ride Her Majesty's ridden horses, um, and in my role this year, I've been there for nine years riding for Her Majesty and competing in classes. This year, I've been, you know, very kindly asked to join the parade of horses, so we're taking three of the horses of Her Majesty's from the yard yeah. to join the parade, which will be a tremendous honour. Now, how hands-on is she as an owner? I mean, you know, does she come and offer advice or...? She offers carrots. <laughs> she offers carrots, <laughs> with a bag of royal carrots. Royal to... carrots, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, she's very... Um, obviously, for Her Majesty, um, it's obviously very difficult as an owner to be able to spend a lot of time with her horses, but I take the horses to Windsor Castle at request and I'll take them and parade them, ride them for her there and show her and discuss the yeah. current season, where the horses are going. Is it a great pressure, Katie, or do you really enjoy it? No, I really enjoy it. She's the most amazing person to yeah. ride for and there's I'm um, when I was first asked to do it I thought what a pressure it's going to be and wondered how you know the whole thing was going to happen um, shocked about it pinched myself get on with it you're fine <laughs> um, and it's been tremendous it has been tr a tremendous job to do well yours is, is some pedigree so is yours because Loads of us out there know the name of Brooks Ward from your father, Raymond Brooks Ward, who mm. commentated for years. So was it always going to be an involvement with horses for you, Simon? Completely unemployable anywhere else. Anywhere. <laughs> 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 yes, no, I followed him round when it, I put the old Baker Light uh, headphones on and I listened to all the producers, the cameras and everything else, and I was mesmerised. It's, it's a bit of theatre, actually. Yeah. Horses. But, mm. but theatre with horses is unpredictable theatre. It's, it's yeah. children animals time, isn't oh. it, really? I mean, yeah. they must be fiendishly difficult to manage. Oh, huge. I mean, uh, uh, in the Diamond Jubilee pageant, for instance, we've got, we've got things coming... We've got horses coming from as far afield as uh, Oman and uh, Canada and Chile, but we've also got Inuits and Maoris and everything else all going around. So you've got war dances going around sort of horses. It's not going to be... And it's going to be an interesting time. But the other thing, apart from the formal bit, the pictures here, the Queen is at the horse show almost every day mm. in her headscarf, in her mac, going round, enjoying it. Clearly, Katie, this is something she loves being at. There's the, the tattoo, as it normally is, the pageant in the evening. But during the day, the horse show, and she just goes and stands and watches. She's she? incredible. She walks round. It's her own garden. The horse mm. show is in her garden. And I think it's a great honour that she allows it to happen. And to be able to be there, it's an honour. To me, it's the best show ever. I could never go to a better show. It so just makes... things, Katie. <laughs> right. Well, it's a great <laughs> atmosphere. It is. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. lovely. And, you know, if you're a royalist, which, you know, everybody really should be and, and is, to be able to go there and actually see Her Majesty walk round in... Yeah, great in, in, trade. Yeah, is, is a tremendous Now, is it, is it looks as though Buckingham Palace is coming to Windsor this I'm time from that is, model. Yeah, so yeah. what's the model? Well, this is, this, is, this is going to be the stage, actually, and across, across the arena is going, is going to be the Queen. And actually, if you have a look at this chap in the middle here... Yeah. I think that might be you, Alan. 
Oh, it's me, that is it. We've got a, got a nice white suit for you. So oh, yeah. oh, that's our blend in. During yeah. the daytime, you can sell ice creams and do this in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> we um, should say at this point, I've, I've done the narration for the sort of comparing of, of this tattoo as it's been for the past three or four years. Uh, and this year with the, the Jubilee, it's all a bit scary, but I shall thoroughly enjoy anchoring it and holding it together. And I'm glad I'm doing it in front of Buckingham Well, Palace. you are, but un unfortunately for you, behind yes. you, if you, if, you, if you reveal this as the show goes on, this is Oy. 45 metres long by 15 metres high. It reveals uh, the band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines behind with an orchestra uh, to give it the musical accompaniment. Uh, it, the thing is, I don't know about you, Katie, when you're watching this in the evening, it, it, everybody who's, who's there watching, it really lifts you up. The hairs go up on the back of your neck so many times. I vividly remember the King's Troop, Royal Horse Artillery, going through, and when they're jangling the harnesses and the gun carriages and all that kind of thing. And then also you get these guys with the flags of all nations going through. And I remember one year it rained ferociously, and he galloped out, you know, to land of open glory. There's not a dry eye in there. No. <laughs> it's wonderfully spectacular. It's incredible. And, yeah. um, well, this year especially, all down to Simon, I hope. Down to a lot of people. Down to a lot of yeah. people. This clearly is something that is going to be a highlight of the, of the Diamond Jubilee for the Queen as well, Simon. I mean, how much sort of input or say does she have in what goes uh, on at this? It would be, it'd be fair to say that the Queen takes great interest in, in the Diamond Jubilee, and in particular this event, because it's all about the private interest, private passion and interest mm. in something that's uh, been there, a constant for the Queen uh, during her time on the throne, but also all her life, and, uh, and, and therefore... We're a bit in the spotlight. It runs for several evenings during that week. Are we going to have members of the royal family there every night? We are indeed. Um, we have uh, members of the royal family coming along on all four nights, yeah. uh, and obviously the Queen and Prince Philip on the last night. On the night. last night, on yeah. Sunday. Katie, yeah. you'll be there in the arena. How much more pressure is there when you're in the arena at an event like that, rather than when it's just a horse show and you're, you're doing your dressage? I'll is tell it... you after. <laughs> 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 yeah, <'cause>, uh, <laughs> Katie doesn't actually know what she's got to do yet, but no. the pirouettes and the... Uh... <laughs> Katie, that makes two of us. <laughs> we shall all look forward to it. Do It's going to be on the box, so you can see it uh, on television as well, as well as enjoying yourselves actually at the event. A Diamond Jubilee pageant be shown on ITV on Sunday the 3rd of June. Be there or miss out on something absolutely stonking. My thanks to Simon and to Katie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.